thought I was finally rid of you Trying to break free from the ridicule When I said I was done, that was literal But everything to you seems trivial You a demon that's holding me captive Break me down every time I get active I'm grappling up my bracket You said, look at me now, I'm the captain Main What's up, Red Top Game, man? Y'all already know what it is, man I, I watched this fight last night, man like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't disrespect uh, Jake Paul at all, but I, I am starting to feel that these fights are basically WWE style. Uh, I, I watch UFC and I watch boxing both every time something comes on. Tyron Woodley, yes, he fights in the MMA, he fights in the UFC, but Ty, Tyron Woodley at the end of the day is a fighter. Period. He grew up in the streets of Ferguson. Grew up in the streets of Ferguson. That means he he had he has a natural instinct to fight. That didn't show last night. Yes, it was boxing, it wasn't MMA, but at the end of the day, instinct takes over, especially when you know someone is hurt. Uh, Tyron Willie can he can, he can he can punch with the best, and he can fight. Let let let's get into let's just get into this a little bit, man. I'm gonna try not to. Hold it too long. Let's go. Speed. Look at the speed. The boy can fight. The boy can fight, man. Like I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what was going on last night. I know what was going on last night. It says it right there. A man sold out for the bag. Now, all these prep, uh, press conferences and stuff like that. My man was telling it what it is, man. He, he, he's saying what everyone else did. He said they, they selling for the bag, but Tyron Woodley just sold for the bag too. Listen. They don't want to lose their bag. They don't want to lose their bag. They're fucking pushing you. So when you get in there Sunday, you can wear whatever you want. Come out with that dumbass robot. Whatever you want. Get it's about the Sunday, money. You can wear it's about the money. To you. They're not hurting you. They don't want to lose their bag. So when he gets hurt, you might put him put in position of losing your bag, which takes us to. This shit was disgusting, man. This shit was disgusting because not there, right here. My man was hurt. They not he he just said right here. They not hurting you. They not pushing you because they don't want to lose that bag. Okay. Well, I bet it's something wrote up in the contract, like because when when that, when that punch happened and he had that man up up in these ropes like that. A man, look at it. He hands down, hands down. He just put his hands down. He don't, he don't punch. He waited, he waited for him to basically bounce back up, and then he threw some little weak. It was like a look weak, right? I'm like, that's not Tyron Woodley that I know. That's not, that's not him at all. Tyron, Tyron Woodley. Natural instinct is to pounce on you, regardless of if it's a street fight, MMA, or just throwing hands. When you hurt somebody, natural instinct is to pounce on you the man was hurt jake was hurt he let him get back up and regain his composure then he started showboating like not trying to not trying to end it he started showboating remember he started doing all this shit right here like you're not gonna hit the man no more like the man clearly clearly was hurt he was clearly hurt man so i just want to get into that a little bit man the bag that's the bag they not trying to lose their bag by hurting you you were about to lose the bag by hurting him not fucking pushing you so when you get in on sunday you can throw whatever what he's talking about man um this other clip, man, what another thing is what bothered me is I said they sold the shit out to fight, press conference after press conference, and this shit right here, face off and shit like that. My man said, You're a culture vulture. He said, On Sunday, I'ma hit you with all the culture. 
I'm going to hit you with all the culture. I said, oh, this, this, this nigga, he's about to come fight for real, for real. All right. A culture. That's what I am. I lived it. Sure. And rapping about my lifestyle. You a mm -hmm. fucking joke. Mm -hmm. And you trying to vulture from it. Since you're and come so Sunday, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna get hit with a whole bunch of culture. Mm -hmm. And your whole jawline gonna shift that long jawline, probably from PEDs. But when he hit him with the culture, he didn't hit him with the rest of the culture. He dropped his hands and let the man regain himself. Uh my man came in first round, first round. Um I think Jake Paul hit him six times. He only threw a total of six punches. I'm like, how? How? Where, where are we doing this at, man? Where are we doing this at? This, this was this was classic sell job right here, man. Classic sell job. He didn't want to sell it to, to the degree that it looked like. He didn't want to take the fall, basically. He didn't want to get knocked out selling it. But let me show you something. As I was going, I sent my brother this in the fourth round after that exchange happened. I said, he's selling. This is 10.57 p.m. on the 29th, last night, fourth round, right after it happened, he's selling. I said, he's losing rounds just on the lack of activity. He's not gonna beat him on a decision. He's not gonna win on a, on a decision. So he's losing rounds. He's not gonna get knocked out, but he's not gonna lose. He's not gonna win either because he's not putting enough activity out. First round, six punches thrown, period, total. Got you lost first round. I had him losing first three rounds easy just on activity alone. Then he wins the fourth round. I'm like, okay, he about to turn up. But then he goes back to what he was doing in the first three rounds. He purposely didn't put out activity. He purposely didn't try to fight this dude to literally win the fight. He, I, I have no doubt he could have literally knocked this dude out. He could have knocked Jake Paul out. And that's not taking nothing from Jake Paul. I, I just know what this guy, this guy can do. So I'm, I'm, I'm debating. I'm arguing. After the fight, I get right on Twitter and I say this last night. I feel Woolly sold in the fourth round. He hurt Mans and just stopped punching. All right? He hurt Mans and just stopped punching. Who does? Who just drops the hands like that? Who does that? All right? Now let's let's go to where I said I'm going to show. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to show Ty Tyron Woolly's instinct as a fighter, period. All right? It's going to be MMA, obviously, because he doesn't box like that. But while they're going to tell you, uh, he in MMA, he, he's a very high wrestler, but in the MMA, he was throwing these hands. All right, he's throwing hands. First fight, we're gonna do top five. When he hit him and knew he was hurt, he got on top, he gets on top of him. instant instinct. Of Kim and Ray. Bow, he's down Swing. on him. Bop, bop. When your man is hurt, all you gotta do is throw punches at him. Man's hurt, all you gotta do is throw punches at him, okay. We running with the narrative now. Man is hurt. Why didn't you throw punches at him? Your man is hurt. Why didn't you throw punches at him? All right. Let's get to this next one, man. Let's get to this next one. All right. Let's go. His wrestling is top notch. Bow! Clipped him. Punch him. Your man, your man's clipped. You know he's hurt. All you do instantly is throw punches at this point. That's it. That's it. That's Tyron Woodley. That's who I know. That's who I know. I don't know what the fuck he did last night. He sold the bag. He sold for the bag. Wow. All you throw punches. Hey, ref got to stop it. The ref, he's used to a ref having to stop the fight. Period. So at this point, when he gets this man like this, again, lean, set, he basically sat down on the ropes. All he had to do was swarm him with punches. Left, right, left. Like, he let him up. He let him up. All right? Swarm him with punches. That's not what he do. Tosh check. This was a, he was a brawl. He was a fighter. What do you got? Bop. Oh, bop. That's, that's the exact... Look. That's the exact position... This is the exact position that my man Jake Paul sat in. Sat, he sat, he sat, he sat there. And even though he knew he was hurt, he gave him one more. Ref came in instantly, clipped him. You don't stop throwing punches in that moment. It's just, it just, that's just not Tyron Woodley. That's not Tyron Woodley. Bow! Another punch. Bow! Ref. No, ref. That's enough. It's over. He was out, but he didn't stop punching. He didn't stop punching. These are facts, man. These are facts.
What we got here? Pressing the action here, setting the Last second. one. Lawler, again, patient, moving around, hands up. Wow. Oh, oh, he, he don't stop punching. He does not stop punching like that. He hurt him. He knows he's hurt. He, immediately he gets on him and he keeps punching. Moving around, hands up. Oh, oh, Ref better stop it. Ref has to stop his fight, man. That's just the way it is. That's Ty Tyron Woodley, man. Look at this shit. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Last one, man. Last one. Just in case y'all missed it. He don't stop punching after he hurts you. Refs have to stop stop this shit, man. That's that's it. That's just it. That's just it. He don't he don't stop punching like that. Last night he stopped punching, and that that's when I knew in that very moment that he was throwing he was throwing the bag. He was gonna put out little activity. He did enough just to say that I fought him, but I didn't try to beat him. I had to secure the bag, and that's what he did. Red tie, we out. Peace.